Let's take a look at this Kia Sportage SX Prestige instrument cluster and touchscreen. Um, it has a 12.3 inch dual panoramic display complete with integrated navigation and Kia Connect system. So we turn it on and uh, it's in accessory mode. In accessory mode, you can go to the different um, touch screens here. It automatically connects to your phone. So this is the basic screen that has the whatever music is playing and the time and date and location. And then here we have the second screen here where it has hybrid map, navigation phone, phone projection, voice memo, climate, valley mode, quiet mode, HD radio data, and radio and setup. And over here we have media, Kia Connect, notifications, and the user manual. So if you want to look up something, you can go there and scan the QR code and it'll bring you to the um, website that has all the manual information. Uh, go back here or uh, hit home. Brings you back. And that's the basic functionality of the touchscreen. Okay, let's take a closer look at each of these um, items in the second screen here. First one is hybrid. It says vehicle power must be on to take a look at that. So let's turn it on. So here it shows the fuel economy. electric motor use and over here it will show um, your media next we have map and here you can uh, zoom in or zoom out you can change the volume guidance will be at this volume you can go into the menu here and um, get different uh, points of interest there and points of interest categories Display traffic info. You can turn off the display. And uh, you can search. Next, we have navigation menu. Here you can do a search, point of interest categories gas stations, parking, coffee shops, fast food, restaurants, convenience stores, shopping groceries, pharmacies, banks, ATMs, hotels, and hospitals, and police stations, community, and roadside assistance. You have previous destinations, safe places, Kia dealerships. Uh, you can cancel your route. Uh, get a route overview. You can edit it. Uh, route options and you can get traffic data.
That was all under the navigation menu. Next we have phone. So you, here you can see all your device connections. Okay, on um, phone projection, says here that uh, please connect a phone that supports Android Auto or Apple CarPlay using an approved USB cable. Um, wireless phone projection is only available on the lower trims when it comes to the Kia Sportage. On the higher trims, such as in the SX Prestige, uh, you're going to need the approved uh, USB cable that came with your phone in order to um, use that feature uh, currently. So that may change in the future, but for now, um, it's not available. So if we plug in the cable into the USB port, we get Android Auto is connected. Press that and you get um, a menu here on the side of what's available. And then here you can see the different applications. So you have Amazon Music there that's uh, coming from my phone, a calendar, maps, news, phone, playbooks, reminder, uh, and uh, another app I have, Spotify, TuneIn Radio, and Waze Weather, and you can customize it. So you have Spotify. Uh, you have a tune in radio. And you can customize it. So let's do that. As soon as you do that, the app launcher uh, comes up on your phone here and you can deselect different items or select items that you want to appear on the infotainment center here uh, screen. Uh, let's say you want to remove the calendar, deselect that and um, Let's say you wanted to add game snacks. So I've made my changes. Uh, for them to take, uh, go into effect, you need to unplug the cable. Plug the cable back in. Hit Android Auto again, and you will see that um, Game Snacks is on there. It's listed as one of the apps, and the calendar is gone. So that's how you uh, operate uh, Android Auto on the Kia Sportage Prestige using a cable. Unplugging it brings you back to the uh, second screen on the infotainment center. Here you can uh, enter a voice memo. And that's the record bus button and that's the stop. Here we have climate, and you can 
change all these things here. Recirculate air. Activate upon washer fluid use. Tunnel. Automatic dehumidify. Defrost. Defog. Auto defog. And um, temperature sh settings here. Here you have LA mode, and you can enter a four digit password, and it will lock out the infotainment center here uh, if you uh, give your key or smart key to um, someone, or if you're dropping it off for service and you don't want anyone to take a look at your contact information or uh, any other information that would be displayed here. If you do drop your car off for service, um, if it's in valet mode, they will not be able to reset the maintenance uh, schedule for you. You'll have to do that on your own. So that's just something to remember if you do put it in valet mode when you're getting your car serviced at the Kia dealer. Next we have quiet mode and it says here when quiet mode is selected radio media is played only in the front seats volume will be automatically lowered if the volume is set on higher levels. Next we have HD radio data. Here you can take a look at traffic. Doppler radar and fuel prices. You can look at them by brand, fuel type, and uh, for instance, if you want regular, which all these uh, Kia vehicles use regular, you can see the regular prices and you can have favorites. Here you have radio. You can change stations here. You could also change stations down here. You can go into XM radio here. So that covers radio. Here we have setup. And you can uh, set up your vehicle here with um, a bunch of different things you can customize. You have driver assistance, so you can change any of these safety features. Forward safety, driver attention warning, speed limit, lanes safety, blind spot safety, parking safety. And you can change the volume there. And you can do that to any of these individual things. You can change the volume. Next, we have Eco Vehicle, and that will help you uh, save gas by providing a coasting guide. Here, you can change different things in the cluster. Here you have cluster theme selection. So you can have it linked to drive mode. And uh, 
depending on what uh, drive mode you have, it will change colors. So here's Eco. Here's Sport. Smart. And Snow. So that will change the instrument cluster there. Now, if you don't want it linked to drive mode, you could have it uh, different settings here, classic A, B, and C. That's classic A. That's classic B. And that's classic C. And uh, it will not change. Um, So on Eco, since I have it on Classic B, it shows uh, the Sport. If I change it to Classic C, that's the Eco display. And uh, Classic A will show the Smart. The last selection we have here is dynamic. If you change it to dynamic, what happens is the cluster will show a night scene and you can see some buildings and some terrain there. And during the day, it will show um, daytime clouds and it'll be lighter. So that will change depending on whether it's night or day. And that's dynamic. Let's put it back to drive mode. Next we have service interval. And you can uh, enable the service interval and you can change the distance in hundreds of miles, so 100 miles, or 200, 300, uh, 800 miles, or 2,000 miles. So you can do that. You can also change the duration. Let's say you want to remind yourself to get it serviced in five months. You would enter that five months. And then you can reset the values here. Next we have reset fuel economy. So we can have that at vehicle start after refueling or manually. You have content selection so you can change what's displayed in the cluster. Wiper, lights display, blind spot, view monitor, icy road warning. So that uh, you have an option to turn those uh, items on or off on your cluster or in your cluster. Next we have the welcome sound. You can turn that off or on. Here we have the tachometer display. You could have it displayed on uh, all the different drive modes. Eco, Sport, Smart, and Snow. So it would always uh, be displayed. Now if I turn some of these off, versus on Snow, it will change back to the default. I'm in smart. Um, that changes to the default.
I'm in sport. That's how the sport looks like. It gets rid of the tachometer. I'm in eco and I turn that off and it uh, goes back to the default. Next we have the oil change reminder. So it shows remaining life 84% and you can reset that. After cluster, we have the climate. We can change settings there. You can recirculate air. Different options there. And then we have seat. Different settings there for your seat. Next we have lights. And you can change your ambient light. You can change the brightness. And uh, you can change the uh, color. So you can change the ambient light. And you can have it uh, linked to drive mode and it will automatically change based on the drive mode and that is on eco that's sport snow And that is smart. If you take it off uh, link to drive mode, then uh, you have options for color. And uh, you can have uh, all these different selections here as far as color. Blue flight, peaceful forest, dreamy purple, violet cloud, orange delight, golden insight, refreshing sea, and custom color. On custom color you can change all the different colors here and uh, that will be your color regardless of what drive mode you're in so I selected that blue so no matter what drive mode I'm in, it's always going to be, uh, the ambient light will always be blue. And uh, we can put it back on drive mode. Next, you have your one touch turn signal. You could have it seven flashes, five flashes, three flashes are off. You can turn off the welcome light, enable on driver approach, and uh, that will activate the puddle lights on each of your side view mirrors. You have headlight delay, high beam assist, and that 
that covers your lights. Next you have options for the door. You have auto lock, auto unlock, and uh, selections for the power lift gate. You can change the opening speed and the opening height. You can activate uh, smart lift gate and remote window control. Next we have convenience. You can have the rear occupant alert, wireless charging system, and auto rear wiper. Those are all options for convenience. And that covers all the vehicle settings. Next we have navigation. Here you can uh, set up the vehicle speed, display traffic info, show traffic colors, nearby point of interest, fuel price info. You have options for guidance. Route options. Guide distance. Navigation voice guidance. Border crossing information and show route overview while stopped. Next we have map. You can change the map mode. Font size. Map color. Vehicle symbol. Set map to auto scale. Uh, depending on how fast you're going, it will automatically scale at these different speeds. And uh, navigation auto features. So that's navigation. Under sound, you can um, have a volume limit. Speed dependent volume control. Position. So I have mine slightly louder in the rear. So that's the fader and balance. You can change the tone. You can have different uh, settings for the guidance. Navigation voice guidance. Navigation alert. Navigation guidance during calls, navigation volume priority, and mute navigation guidance and welcome sound. Here we have radio noise. Driver assistance. And connected devices.
So those are the sound settings. Device connections will show you uh, what devices are have been paired with the Sportage. Bluetooth voice prompts. System info and phone projection settings. So that was device connections. Here you can set up user profiles, set up voice recognition, Here you can change the screen layout. And we went over that link to drive mode, classic A, B, C, so on and so forth. Screen saver. You can have the analog clock, digital clock, or none. Here you can split the screen. have different selections there. Here we have display and illumination. Change the brightness, blue light filter and camera settings. Here you have your favorite button. You can set that up with your favorites. And uh, when you hit the favorite here, it'll bring you to whatever you set up as a favorite. In this particular case, I set up my um, Android phone for that. You could also access that through your steering wheel. There is a favorite button on your steering wheel. Data network, Kia Connect, configure that. You'll need to um, set that up with your an email and enroll. Here you have a Wi-Fi hotspot. And then you have your general settings here. Software update, you can update your software. System info, storage, tells you how much storage you have available for memos. Date and time, language and keyboard. So that was uh, all the general settings. Okay, so that covers the second screen on the infotainment center screen here. Uh, if you go to the third screen, you have media, Kia Connect, notifications, and the user manual. Under media, you have uh, different things available there. And you have FM, Sirius XM radio, Bluetooth audio, USB music, and the Sounds of Nature, which is on right now. Under Sounds of Nature, you have Lively Forest, Calm Sea Waves, Rainy Day, Open Air Cafe, Warm Fireplace, 
and snowy village so if you do not want to listen to any of your media sources such as your uh, Spotify or any of those other things or uh, FM radio you can um, put on sounds of nature and have that uh, playing in the background as you drive if you want to go back to your media sources uh, click this list here and uh, press that and then you can see some of the other things that are available uh, go back into FM You're going directly into AM. Uh, you have your Android Auto and Apple CarPlay if you have your phone connected via cable. So that covers media. Under Kia Connect. You have roadside assist, calendar, weather, vehicle diagnostics, maintenance, virtual assistant, Kia Connect call center, and Kia Connect settings. Under roadside assist, and it calls for roadside assist. Under calendar, if you have your phone synced with your uh, calendar here, you can uh, have events uh, show up there. Here you have weather. Cell vehicle diagnostics, um, and that will function if the engine's running. And I'll check all the different systems, and everything is showing up normal here. Next, we have maintenance. It shows you how many miles are left until your next maintenance or how many days and you can reset it there. Next we have virtual assistant. Thank you for calling Kia. Main menu. Which of these would you like help with? You can say Schedule an appointment or frequently asked questions. You want to turn Did that you... off, go back in and end it. Next, we have the Kia Connect call center. If you are calling about car or lease payments, please press zero. If you are calling in need of roadside assistance, press or say one to be connected with the roadside assistance representative. If you need a previous vehicle owner or user removed from your vehicle, please press or say two now. If you then lastly you have your Kia Connect settings. And you can uh, reconfigure that and uh, have 911 Connect modem information and modem status you'll need to set up your new Kia with uh, a username and uh, email and enroll Okay, next under notifications, you have no notifications there, so 
come back here. And then lastly, you have your user's manual. And you scan the QR code with your phone and then uh, you'll be able to look up any information about your car on your phone there by downloading the manual. Okay, that covers the third screen. I hope you enjoyed this um, review of the infotainment center and the different features available to customize for a more enjoyable driving experience. Thanks for watching my video and subscribe.